love, the school of Ahlul Bayt. The school that loves the entire mankind. We don't differentiate. We respect people for being human. We should not look at people, people's religious identity. We do not judge people by their religious identity. We respect all mankind. Amir al-Mu'mineen, our Mawla, our leader says, النَّاسُ صِنْفَانِ إِمَّا أَخُلْ لَكَ فِي الدِّينِ أَوْ نَظِيرٌ لَكَ فِي الْخَلْقِ Imam Ali sends a letter to Malik al-Ashtar, his governor in Basra. He says, Malik, you must respect all people. Don't discriminate between them. Why? Because people are of two types. All mankind falls into these two categories. One of them, you're a brother in faith. They share religion with you. If not, they share mankind, humanity with you. They are your equal in the creation. Don't put them down. Don't attack them. Don't slander them. Don't disrespect them. This is the religious freedom in Islam. This is religious freedom. When a Christian came all the way from Basra, carrying his grievances to Amir al-Mu'mineen, he said, Ya Ali, you are my leader, I'm a Christian. But I'm under your protection. Your governor did not do good to me. He abused me. Imam Ali wrote an urgent letter to his governor. I don't want to see any human being being abused under your leadership. And let it be known to you, Man Ada Nasraniyan Fakad Adani. If you hurt a Christian, you are hurting Ali ibn Abi Talib. You are hurting Ali ibn Abi Follow Amir al Mu'min and we have a duty in this country. Let me share this last story. This man is still living here, he is in Denver, Colorado. I was invited to Denver, Colorado, maybe two years ago. This man picked me up from the airport. He's a clergy sheikh, he's wearing white turban. They told me someone by the name of Ali Al Farooq is going to pick you up from the airport, and he will take you to the to the hotel. I said, okay, I know nothing about him. <laughs> when he picked me up, he said, Maulana, my real name is Omar Al Farooq. <laughs> I said, really, are you Omar? <laughs> what, what happened? Why did you change your name? He said, I come from a Sunni family, from Mosul. <laughs> From Mosul, we are a prominent, prominent family in Mosul, and we are hardline Sunnis. My family sent me to Medina to study in the seminary of Medina. But somehow I arrived late, they said we don't accept you. I went to Jordan, they didn't accept me. I came to Damascus, they accepted me. <clears throat> In the seminary. They accepted me in one of the seminaries. One day, our professor, he mentions his name. He taught Madahib and Adyan, religions and schools of thought. So he taught us about Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, all religions. And also the Madahib, schools of thought, Maliki, Hanafi, Shafi'i, Hanbali, you know. So one of the students said to him, Maulana, you didn't tell us anything about Shia Muslims. He said, no, 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 no. Shia are not Muslims. Don't say Shia Muslims. Shia are Kafirs. They're not Muslims. And I don't even want you to ask me about Shias. They are terrible. They are bad. They are not Muslims. Don't even mention their name. Don't get close to them. I am advising you as your professor, your mentor, not to get close to the Shia. Sheikh Ali, he tells me, I am a Sunni. I know, you know, we have Shia in our community. They are not terrible. But this professor was so powerful that even he poisoned my mind. He poisoned my mind. He made me and certain. So, the same student asked him, okay, we are not going to get close to them. Where are they? He said they live here in Sayyidah Zainab. There is an area called Sayyidah Zainab. This is their center. 
Sheikh Ali says, after the classes, I took a taxi, I want to say the Zainab. I want to say the Zainab, I went into the shrine of say the Zainab. The man said, we do not, Shia do not worship God, they worship Imam Ali. So I went there, I looked at the ziyarah, I read the ziyarah, nothing about polytheism or shirk in the ziyarah. The ziyarah says, As-salamu alayki ya binta Rasulullah. As-salamu alayki ya binta Amir al -Mu'mineen. Everything is okay with the ziyarah. No hint, no sign of polytheism or heresy. Our professor said they have different Qur'ans. So I saw some Qur'ans on the, on the, you know, on the shelf. I went, I opened the Qur'an, the same Qur'an that we, we read. In fact, the Qur'an is printed in Damascus, the same Qur'an that I have it in my room. I went to the other corner to check other Qur'ans, exactly the same Qur'an. Then I looked at people there in the shrine praying. The only difference, they are not praying across hand. That's it. So I was really wondering why our teacher was so harsh against the Shia. They are Muslims, yet they are different than us. So he said, I left, I left the shrine. I saw one of the Mu'annameen, Mawlana, Shia Mawlana's, I went after him. He went inside the building, he went inside the building, I chased him. That building is a seminary. I know that seminary. I know that seminary. I taught in that seminary 30 years ago, in Damascus. So he went inside after him, he said, I opened the door, I saw a room, about 20 or 30 clergy, Maulanas are sitting there. He said, I stood at the door, at the gate, and I started cursing them. Cursing them. Without saying any salam, anything. You are kuffar, you worship Ali, you are not Muslims, you have different Quran, you, 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 with anger, with frustration. He says, after 10 minutes of cursing them, one of the Mawlanas was sitting there with a smile. He turned to me with a smile. He said, Shaykh, come and have a cup of tea with us. Oh, oh. Only the oh. Join us, have a cup of tea. What? Shaykh Ali al Farooq. he says, this cup of tea changed me from Sunni to Shia. <laughs> 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 He said, I was so embarrassed. I'm standing there, cursing them, disrespecting them, using all sorts of profanity against them, all sorts of these false accusations. None of them got angry. And the man, the Mawlana with a smile, with a smile, he says, come join us and have a cup of tea. He said, I sat, I was embarrassed, I was speechless. I sat there, he asked me, who told you we have different Qur'ans? Who told you we don't pray? Who told you we worship Ali? He said, my professor. My professor. He's a great man, great scholar. His name is such and such. The Mawlana told me, go tomorrow to your professor and give him, tell him to give you references about what he said. References. Wow. Did you read that in a book? One of our books? Let him show you a reference. A reference to that. He says, I went back the following day. As soon as I asked my teacher, I said to him, teacher, doctor, professor, whatever, can you give me some references to what you said earlier about Shia? He said, why? Why do you want to know? You don't believe in me? He said, no, 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 I believe you. I believe you. I trust you. I only want references. He said, why do you want references? He said, because yesterday I went to a Shia scholar he said, you want to Shia scholar? Why did you go? I, I, didn't I tell you not to go? Didn't I forewarn you? They have a magical power. They, they brainwash you. He said, anyways, give me the references. I want to go back to him and show him the references. He said, there are no references. He uh, said, you are a professor. You're telling me no references? Where, you, where did you get these news from? He said, from people. I hear it from people. I said to him, you are a professor, you are an academic. You hear from the people in the, in, the, in the bazaar, in the marketplace, and you come and you teach us these things at school. He said, I did not listen to him. I kept going secretly every single day to that seminary for six months. In the morning, I study in my seminary, the Sunni seminary. In the afternoon, I go to a Shia seminary. 
for six months, he says, until I was fully convinced that the path of Ahlul Bayt is the right path. It's the right path. And I decided to change my name from Umar al Farooq to Ali al Farooq. His name today is Sheikh Ali Fawl. He's still alive here in Denver. And he's a Mulana of an Islamic center, a Zahra Islamic center in Denver.